Hey guys, Sean Madison. I wanted to talk about my high series of fishes. Why I call it the high series is all of these boards have down rails. And when you have a down rail, it's a, uh, a rail that you can literally surf really high on the face and it makes it super fast. So in other words, you can ride high lines where most round rails want to slide down and they're actually really hard to put the board into the water because the rail is too big and it, it won't penetrate. So that's why I call these boards the high fishes or the different models. So this is, these two are the high keels, this is the high quad, and this one is the high twinser. And again, they all have a, a very unique rocker to them. They have a real you, distinct rail shape and profile. And that's what really is the magic about this board, these, these models. So I'm gonna start with the keel. And here with keels, this has a, um, a marine ply um, glass on fin. What you'll find is with the glass on fins, they have um, the fin rope has almost like a little bend to it. It makes the, uh, I, I feel it. And what it, what it really feels like, it, it, it gives a really rhythmic roll to the board because of the fins and having that uh, fin rope on there. And the way that um, wood fins flex, are different than fiberglass fins. It has a very unique feel. Super fast, um, all hand foiled uh, glass on fins. Um, one of the things I also wanted to mention as you think about surfboards and what you're gonna buy um, is fin placement is a big deal. So what happens when you have fin boxes, you literally have to think about what fins go in the box. Because if you don't, you'll find that, especially in keel fins, if you put them in the fin box, the back end of the fin is so much longer and bigger than most um, uh, most fins. So it literally goes back beyond the shaper die. So when I go and set up boards, I have to consider what fins are we gonna put in this board and what's applicable um, for the board. Whereas with a glass on, you don't ever have to worry about that because it's in its intended spot. And that's typically around the wing. And one other thing is, you know, if the fin gets too close to the rail, you know, like that, that's basically what I'm trying to say. The board becomes pretty tracky. You can't leverage the board up onto the rail that easy because the fin is literally right on the rail and there's not a smooth transition to that. So this is the glass on high heel right here. I've got the same model, but this particular board has fin boxes, FCS twos. And I found, you know, uh, a, a template that I, I really like. I have my own templates for these guys. But basically these are the same board and the same characteristics. Now, when you get into the quads and the twinsers, this is where fins can change a twin fin and really make it quite different in the way that it performs. You'll find that as you move into a twin versus a quad, you can really change the drive and the looseness patterns by how big your front fins are versus how big your rear fins are, and you really have versatility. Whereas, you know, if you imagine, if you have a twin fin with all this just surface area, you have to really leverage where you are on the board versus being able to move the fin forward or back or change the template of the fin. And that really affects the way that the board initiates the turn and how it comes around. My fin templates right here are the, uh, the Vaughn Knights. Um, I worked on this template when um, I was with Mike Henson, and um, they're both really, um, you know, curvy style fins with a lot of tip area, and you get a lot of drive out of the tip like that, and you can see that they're really close together. When you have them really close together, you've really shortened the amount of space between the fin, and so that makes the board a lot looser. And, um, you know, when you start getting into angles, you know, you have your toe and your cant, your front fin's different than your rear fin. And so, you know, those are all details that you have to come up to complement the whole overall board. So this is the, um, the high quad. Um, these are the Von Knight fins that I have. And then as we move into Twinsers, Twinsers are um, different than the true uh, keel fins. What you'll find is like you're literally changing, again, sort of like the layout of the fins. Instead of having one solid fin, this fin right here, the little canard, has two jobs, really. Um, one of which is um, 
If you think about a sailboat, you have a front sail and the back sail, the jib and the main sail. And so as you move that front sail, the jib, it creates a slot. It adds more pressure onto the mainsail and the sailboat. That's what Will Jobson really figured out. And so when you start looking at the angles of these fins, you have a little bit of overlap between these guys, but you're creating a slot here. And it also gives a space for the water to go once you've done the turn. So you, it, it, and a pretty cool thing too, maybe I should even say it does a third job um, besides, you know, having a slot and making it faster and um, dividing up the fins, but it also gives lift because this angle is different than this angle. And you literally have this little fin that helps bring up the, the board and looseness. So, and, and you'll find that the board literally feels like it's hovering. So it's a really cool board. And when you do a twinser like this, you can quite literally take those guys out and put keel fins in and you can tighten the board down that way. So it's really big to kind of see what fins will do to the same body of surfboard. And that's why I've done this whole series in a Twinser, a quad, and the twin fins.